So let's talk audience analysis. Audience analysis is a really important part of preparing for any presentation that you give because every presentation should change based on the audience that you think you're going to present to. Just like you change your resume to hire to try and get different jobs, you're going to change your speech content and organization to influence different audiences. So think of audience analysis as the gathering and then analyzation of your audience members and how that's going to impact your speech. So the first thing I want to talk about with audience analysis is that you're going to be looking at different aspects of it. And the three different aspects of audience analysis I want you to focus on are going to be demographics, the mental aspects of your audience, and then the context or setting that you're going to be speaking to them in. All right, so let's go demographics first. Demographics is a little bit more simple thing to be analyzing for your audience members. Think age, sex, gender, ethnicity, culture, income, occupation, education, religious politics, um, sexual orientation, things like that. Think boxes that you could check on your taxes or that you might check when you're applying for a job, things like that. So some of these things are more mental still, um, things that you wouldn't be able to see just by looking at someone. You can't tell if somebody is gay just by looking at them. You can't tell if somebody is Muslim just by looking at them. These aren't things we can just assume someone is, but they are research that we can do about a specific area. Uh, and there are lots of different uh, government statistic sites that you could go to for that, or you could talk to the person who is asking you to come in and speak to this group. So. The reason we look through our demographics is to try to think about um, specific topics that our audience may or may not care about, in addition to thinking about the way that we need to talk about those topics and how we can specifically hone in on topics our audience will care about. So, for instance, let's talk about age. If you're talking to a group of preschoolers, it would obviously not be appropriate to talk to them about marital troubles because the likelihood that your audience members of toddlers are married is very low. So let's just think about that first off. Um, let, so think about the topics that you're going to choose and the way that you're going to talk about those topics. You could talk about the topic of marriage with toddlers. You just need to talk about it in a different way. Um, in terms of sex and gender, those are two additional demographics we can look at. And let's differentiate those real quick. The sex is the parts that a person has. So if you have boobs and a vagina, you are a female. That is your sex. Um, gender then is the way that you perform certain activities. So you can have a more masculine gender or a more feminine gender. I tend to have certain feminine characteristics, but I also tend to have more masculine characteristics. I know how to fix a car. I like to use a sawzall, but I also really enjoy cooking and crocheting. That's not to say that any one of those activities is good or bad or makes me a good or bad person. It's just something you need to be aware of for an audience member. I personally am not a huge fan of the color pink, and I hate it when people would call me a princess or sweetheart or things like that. That's something that as a speaker you need to be aware of because you wouldn't say, hey, sweetheart, look at this. If you want to be seen as a princess and get the husband and man of your dreams, you need to do this you're losing me as an audience member. So be aware of how that, how the gender might be something that would be impacting the way that your audience wants you to talk to them. Culture and ethnicity is something, again, you can look for um, just with a pretty simple search or asking the person who invited you to come in and speak. Um, but these are going to impact the way that you're going to talk to your audience members and the types of content you want to choose. So let's say that you wanted to maybe have some kind of a cute little introduction um, attention getter where you were talking about different types of waves. Like when I was in elementary school, I learned many different kinds of waves, like the, uh, I don't know, I don't, but one of them was the microwave. Like, hi, I'm the, hello, how are you doing? So it's a microwave. Now, if I'm speaking to an audience in Australia and there are men in that audience, they might take this as meaning that I think they have a small penis because that's what it means in Australia. Or at least the last time I checked, that's what it meant. So I would think, you know, based on this audience, that particular attention getter, not a great choice. So you can go on all down this list and you can try to make some uh, guesses as to the things that your audience members might care about or the things that they find important based on these demographics. But the things that your audience members care about, find important, that type of thing, that goes into the mental aspect of audience analysis. 
So in terms of the mental aspect of audience analysis, think attitudes, beliefs, values, things like that. So your attitudes are going to be general evaluations that you have of certain topics. For instance, I might have an attitude where I am pro-gun, but I'm also pro-gun regulation. All right, I think everybody should be able to have guns, but I'm also a fan of regulating the types of guns we have and that type of thing. So that's attitudes that I have. Beliefs, then, are the way that we see reality. So, for instance, I have a belief that love is the root of our total existence. That then begins to impact my attitudes and my values, some of those core things that make up um, who we are. And then our values are going to be some of those enduring judgments. So I think it's important and I value the freedom to pursue my dreams. And that's something that then impacted the way that I looked for a partner when I was dating. Um, when I was looking for a partner, um, I wanted to find someone who would support me as I went out to try and find my own dreams. Um, and those dreams didn't necessarily mean staying at home with kids. That's been a part of my life that I've been a stay-at-home parent, but it wasn't necessarily the thing that I wanted to be pushed into. I wanted to have the freedom to do what I wanted to do and to be supported in that. So that was a value that I looked for as I made the decision of who I was going to partner with. So think about those uh, mental aspects of your audience as well. And then finally, you need to think about the setting and the context for your audience members. All right, is this speech going to take place in the morning? Is it gonna be right after lunch? Is this a funeral speech? Is this a speech that's going to take place at a high class, high power business meeting? Um, is this a speech that's going to happen on a street corner? Um, think about the room that you're going to be in. Is it a hot room? Is it a cold room? Does it have comfortable chairs? Does it have uncomfortable chairs? This is going to help you determine a whole lot of different things about your speech. If you've got a cold room with uncomfortable chairs and you're having your, uh, your speech at the end of a long day of presentations, your speech better be awfully short because you're not going to have that audience's attention for very long. If your presentation is going to take place at a funeral home and it's going to be really hot, you again, you'd want to think about how long you can speak. You might have to speak about a little bit different content to keep your audience members engaged. Um, so think about that uh, setting in context where you're actually going to be giving that speech because that's going to impact what you can talk about for how long and the other types of delivery things you needed to prepare for. So again, demographics, the mental aspects of your audience, and then the setting or context. These are gonna be really important things to think about as you're preparing for your presentation.